Welcome everybody. Happy Saturday evening to you. We have just one break tonight, but it's a good one. It's some Bowman Baseball Jumbo version. I know, right? And before we get started ripping and while everybody's getting in the room, uh, we're going to go over some information. We do that every night just to make sure that everybody's on the same page. So first up, a note there about feedback because I'm asked that a lot. My feedback is 100% automated on eBay. So what that means to you is simply anytime you leave positive feedback for me, you will instantly get positive feedback in return. No waiting. Don't even have to take a number. Nothing. Because some of you are probably too young to even know what that means, take a number, right? But anyway, uh, the other message is to say thank you. I do appreciate everyone who bids, breaks, chats, hangs out with me, keeps me company, etc. We're taking a look right now at uh, what's coming up in the days ahead. And somewhere in here, yeah, there it is. See, I got a little typo in there, and I knew that I did, but I forgot to fix it, didn't I? So this is a, a look at what we're going to be breaking in the days ahead. So tomorrow night, we'll want, we're going to start at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific. You'll see a lot of the nights coming up here over the next week or two, kind of experimenting a little, starting earlier most of those nights. Um, for some reason, I didn't on Tuesday. Who knows? So tomorrow night, 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific, a case of flash football and a case of leather and lumber baseball. Monday night, once again, 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific, Luminance Football and Finest Baseball. On Tuesday, Flash Football and Finest Baseball. On Wednesday, 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific, Noir Basketball, which is a new release for that day, high-end Panini. And Top Series 2 Jumbo also comes out on Wednesday. We'll break that by the full six-box case of Jumbo, okay? But, 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 but. The base cards doesn't do not ship to the teams. Base cards has a separate bidding category. So teams are going to get inserts, short prints, parallels, autographs, you know, the stuff that you find in the Tootsie Roll center of a jumbo pack. Uh, everything else that is base, of course, goes to that bidding category. On Thursday, we're going to be busy Thursday night, 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific, and we're going to open Noir Basketball, Luminance Football, and Finest Baseball. Yeah, we'll be super busy on Thursday night. For tonight, here's what you need to know. Um, of course, we just have the one break. It's going to get out the door to you approximately Wednesday. As always, if I can get something out to you faster than the date you see listed, I will absolutely do so. And this serves as another reminder about the paper base. So this was outlined in the listing description, which hopefully everybody read. Uh, but paper base in this break does not ship to the teams. Paper base has its own separate bidding category. So teams are going to get all the chrome cards, which is also all of the inserts, all the autograph cards, and all the numbered cards. But straight up paper base that isn't numbered, isn't signed, isn't an insert or a parallel, uh, that has its own bidding category. So this is a four box half case uh, of 2019 Bowman Jumbo Baseball. This is break number 10. It's the back half of a case we started recently. And of course, it ended tonight on eBay, Saturday night, the 8th of June, same night that we're breaking it. You'll see team names there on the left-hand side. Our winning bidders are across from on the right-hand side. And we may have a team in here. I forgot about that. We may have an unpaid team in here available. So I'm going to let you sit tight there for a hot second while I jump over here and see how things are uh, shaken out tonight. So actually, paper base isn't paid, but I'm not really going to worry about that one because um, I don't imagine anybody in here wants it or you would have been on it. So we won't worry about paper base. If it gets paid, so much the better for me. If it doesn't, well, you know, that's how it's going to go. And then um, the Red Sox. Okay, the Red Sox are not paid. So does anybody want to buy the Boston Red Sox in this break? So if you do, now is the time to speak up because that's the unpaid stuff. Meanwhile, I should go back and uh, 
fix the spreadsheet here to reflect a couple of these little changes so that uh, we can have that all nice and documented. So bear with me here for, for a hot second while I get that part sorted out real quickly. And we'll put that. I should have actually done that first. I know I should have, but I forgot that we had those unpaid spots. So it happens sometimes. So there, there's the spreadsheet again, reflecting correctly that the Boston Red Sox are unpaid and the paper base also sitting unpaid at this po point in time. So um, Kirk is here. Hi, Kirk. Martin is here. Well, Martin, you don't have anybody in the break, but you just came by to say, hey, well, I'm glad you did. I'm going to change up the focus here too, uh, kids. Just hang tight. We're going to Background's going to go out of focus, but that's uh, that's on purpose, so don't worry about that. This means we're going to be able to see everything else even better. Even better than before. So, Jay Ness, you have the Rays, and you saw, uh, you saw that Wander Franco was pulled in the first half. Well, you know what? That does not necessarily preclude him from being pulled in the second half. We have all experienced those cases where uh, a player comes out multiple times. So even a big one like Wander Franco can be duplicated. So you never know. I wouldn't give up on it. That's for sure. And Donnie says he's glad he got outbid on the race. <laughs> um, Paul, you are asking, if you're asking about the Red Sox, hang on and I'll tell you real quickly. It wasn't much. It was like... 10 bucks or something like that. Um, yeah, it ended on eBay at like $10.50. If you have other teams in here, it wouldn't, there would be no shipping involved with that. If you don't have other teams in here, I'd probably have to round that up to about 14 bucks just to, just because the bid amount is so low. So if someone does want the Red Sox, uh, again, you know, 10 bucks if you have other teams already headed your way or $14 if you don't. It was $10.50 was its last bid amount where it did not get paid on eBay. Oh, all right. We'll see there. Donnie says he has seen several different times where two different Wander, uh, Wander Francos were pulled. All right. So there we go. So it might work out. So here's the deal. Once again, paper base, I'm going to go through this first jumbo pack just to kind of demonstrate. But we always know when we're to the good stuff because that's how Tops and Slash Bowman, same company, design these jumbo packs. So this is the stuff right now in the middle of the jumbo pack that does go to the teams. And Paul says he does want to pick up the Red Sox. All right, sir. Do you have other teams in here as well? So I know... Uh, where I can direct this to. I'll fix the spreadsheet here as well if you give me a second. I'm typing in for you right now. PayPal uh, address and since you're going to pick them up I need to update the spreadsheet to reflect that and I also need to go in and get this closed out on eBay. Since this person didn't pay for it we'll get that done. And then, all right, so Paul, you said you don't have other teams in here. All right, then if you would do me a favor, when you send it over, please make sure that your correct and current address shows up on PayPal when you pay for it, all right? Because I have had people before that when they don't have another team and they'll um, send it, but it, they'll forget to check the address. And sometimes they're really outdated addresses and we don't find out until after the fact or other unfortunate things that happen. So if you'll just double check that uh, when you send that payment, I would appreciate it. And if you would be so kind as to uh, give me a heads up when it is all taken care of, then we'll be ready to roll on down the road here. I appreciate you picking that up, man. I know that's kind of a, uh, a low dollar one in this break, but hey, I figured... You know, you never know. Somebody wants to give it a give it a shot sometime. So, so Paul, just give me a heads up when you are good to go. And meanwhile, we'll go ahead and get back to this. 
All right, so once again, all of our Chrome cards are going to go to the teams in here, not to the paper base spot. And this, of course, one of our insert sets, uh, Scouts Top 100. This entire insert set is a refractor. Same for Ready for the Show. All of our Ready for the Shows also are refractors. So, FYI. And we are looking for three autographs per box. We have already found our first one right here with pack number one. We've got, got an autograph out right away for the Yankees with Dom Thompson Williams. And then we're back to the rest of this is paper base. A couple more chrome cards get mixed in there. And then we finish out with paper base. Okay, so that is how the jumbo packs are set up. So now as we go forward, we're just going to kind of cut right to that middle part. Yes, Paul, that, that amount is correct, sir. If you would, since you don't have anything else uh, headed over, 14 is, we'll have you covered all in, shipped and delivered right to your door. That'd be perfect. Thank you. appreciate it. All right, what do we got in here? Oh, I love these. These are the 30th anniversary parallels, and while they are not numbered, they are refractors. The whole series refracts, and those signatures that you see, those are facsimile signatures. They're just printed on there. They're not an actual, you know, actual, actual live autograph on the item, but I do still think uh, that they're a very cool looking card. It's one of my favorites. We may find some Bowman Sterling continuity in here as well. They don't come out as regularly as they do in Hobby, I don't think, but we'll probably find some. Might find some atomic refractors as we go along as well. Rookie of the Year favorites, that entire series refracts. Speaking of, that is a Bowman Sterling continuity right there. Greater all for the twins. So one of several that we will find. A couple more chromes. And then the rest is uh, the rest is base. I do have more Bowman Jumbo. Um, actually a fair amount more. I just run out of time to get this listed. There's so many products and they just keep rolling out new products to us every time you turn around. But I think what we'll do going forward, we'll probably start breaking it by the full case. We'll still separate out paper base uh, most likely, but we will do some full case breaks probably going forward. Look at that handsome card. It is numbered 250 in our gold parallel for the St. Louis Cardinals. A nice little uh, Genesis Cabrera, right? That is, yeah, mm hmm. Like that hit if you've got St. Louis. Nice, uh, nice little find there for the cards. All right, so Paul, are you all good, man? Are we all squared away? If so, I need to just jump in here and uh, officially finish this cancellation on eBay so that we're all kind of on the same page. If you can give me a, a heads up and let me know where we sit, I would appreciate that, Paul. That is uh, Bowman Scouts Top 100, Rookie of the Year favorites, another one of our anniversary with the facsimile signature. A few more chromes, and the rest of that is paper base. You're still working on it? All right, well, give me the heads up when that's uh, taken care of, if you would, please, sir, so that I can make sure that I get it squared away on the eBay side of things as well. We don't want to end up with uh, two people having the team. Although, I have a zero feedback bidder that doesn't pay before the break and doesn't respond to emails. Probably isn't going to pay for it, you know. But 
For the Mets, you have a refractor to 499 with Andreas Jimenez. I always, I always want to say Jimenez, but some of them actually are supposed to be Jimenez, and some of them aren't, and I always get it backwards, whichever way it's supposed to be. <laughs> I am, you know what, I am the worst. I know I am. I know I'm terrible with the name pronunciation. I chalk it up to having never taken a foreign language in school, except for Latin, which really wasn't much of a spoken language, and it's a dead language, so, oi, I know, why'd I do that? Oh, well, what are you going to do? Ooh, a numbered Bowman Sterling continuity. You know, out of all that we've opened, this is our first Bowman Sterling continuity numbered that I've seen all year, out of Hobby or Jumbo. And it is numbered to five. And that is a greater all again for the twins. We saw him uh, a minute ago on a regular Sterling continuity, but that one numbered five is a sweet little, a sweet little surprise there for the Minnesota Twins, making us happy on this Saturday night. here guys and gals I'm sorry I'm just making sure the person on eBay hasn't paid yet since we're kind of still in a holding pattern you know normally I don't start these breaks until that stuff is all squared away but uh, tonight I did because the dollar amount is not that high but at the same time I do need to figure out what's going on with it here in a minute so I can either cancel that other order or not so keep us posted please Paul For the Yankees, little well, Glaber Torres, one of the few Yankees who's not injured. Although, um, didn't DD Gregor didn't DD Gregorius come back this week? I think he did, uh, at least with a brief little game in game appearance, and <clears throat> maybe CC Sabathia too. So the Yankees are kind of starting to show back up after having two-thirds of the roster injured, or what seems like two-thirds of the roster. We have our first color that doesn't have an autograph attached to it. This is numbered to 125 for the Phillies, Adonis Medina. Another little talent pipeline, some base, and then more paper. All right, good to go there. Um, Martin, are you saying D.D. Gregorius hit a home run in the second game? Nice. I'm assuming that's who you mean. Probably not. Probably not CC. <laughs> For the Cardinals, numbered to 499, this one is paper, and it is Garcia. But, of course, because it is numbered, it's not paper-based, so it does still go to the team's. 30th anniversary, Carter Keyboom, Nationals, and a Gold Shimmer, Padres. Gold Shimmer, of course, numbered to 50 like our regular gold. It is Logan Allen for the Padres. Even though they're numbered the same, kind of partial to the Shimmer. I'll admit it. I like the Shimmer. DH is here looking for some Cubbies, some Chicago Cubs. Nice. We're going to try to find you some Cubbies. This is number 499, Jared Kalinick for the Mariners. That is paper for Mr. Kalinick. And behind that is a Bowman Sterling continuity for the Cubbies, as a matter of fact, Aramis Edeman. A couple more chrome in there, three to be exact. I always say a couple, but really we know it's it's three because we we've seen that in every pack, I think. 
Oh, Paul, awesome, man. Thank you. Let me go over here, put you guys on pause for one half a second, and let me get this other one canceled out on eBay really quickly so that it's all nice and official-like, and we will be good to roll onward, onward and upward here. So we need to... All right, get that... All right, all official like now. Awesome. Thank you once again. I appreciate it, Paul. Hopefully we'll have some good mojo here for you. Works out that way sometimes when you guys are kind enough to pick up these unpaid teams. Sometimes the mojo rewards you appropriately. Let's hope it does tonight. Did you guys see what happened to Mitch Hanager? Oh, man. That looked so painful, so painful. The Mariners and Rodriguez. There is an Atomic Refractor first Bowman, numbered to 100 for the Mariners. So yeah, uh, Hanager, probably everybody's seen it, but if you haven't, he basically... Fouled the ball. I mean, the only way I know how to describe it is he kind of fouled it. It looked like, I don't know, maybe into the dirt, into the ground. I don't think it was off of him. I think it actually went down to the ground or hit the plate or something. Anyway, it bounced up into him and hit him in the groin area and actually ruptured a testicle. Can you even imagine? Oh. So he's going to be out for a while. But I, my goodness, I felt so bad for that guy. Like, who can even... Whew, I don't know. That's rough. I don't know how long he'll be out, but that was... Uh, I mean, that's just like one of those one in a million things, you know? I mean, that ball's got to hit exactly at the right angle, and you got to move right into its path, and it's crazy. But I definitely uh, hope they've got him on some good drugs anyway, because I think he's probably going to need a lot of pain medication from the looks of it. For the Angels, that would be one Shohei Otani on the 30th anniversary. A pipeline. Our three chrome, and the rest are paper base. So, of course, we've got Series 2 coming out Wednesday. Vlad Guerrero Jr. is going to be in there. And we're going to break it by the case, by the full case. Acuna, 30th anniversary. The caveat is that the base cards are not shipping out to the teams because otherwise it would be unbelievably difficult to sort all of that if we were breaking it by the full case. So, so other than that, you know, teams are still going to get all the hits and all the stuff and the, the important stuff, just not the base. But even so, we're going to give it a go at the full case rate for a while. And then if we have some of you that are set building and maybe interested in having the base ship, let me know. And we might do a couple of breaks that we do by the half case where everything does ship. Um, but for the most part, the Series 2, we're probably going to do by the full case without the base shipping. Unless you all tell me you want it done differently. This is Rylan Bannon for the Baltimore Orioles. A little first Bowman Inc. headed out to Baltimore. And the rest of our paper base there. Paul, um, on the you're asking if I still want to sell the paper base. You know that's sitting there as an unpaid. It did sell on eBay. It's sitting there as an unpaid spot. Um, but I really hadn't thought about it. I tell you what, if you are interested in it, I will, is your email address in that PayPal? If it is, uh, if you are and I don't have, and the other person hasn't paid for it by tomorrow, 
then yeah, that's fine. We can work out a deal on it. I could just email you and let you know. Zach Collins for the White Sox to 499 Little refractor there. I mean, since the paper base is, is going to be, you know, just paper base no matter before the break, after the break, during the break. I don't really worry so much about, about that one. So if the person who has it hasn't paid me by tomorrow, then yeah, I wouldn't have, you know, if you want to pick it up, we can do that. Oh, there's baby Vlad. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Blue Jays. So, you know, Leaf puts out a lot of baseball products. Some of them are quite nice, especially in terms of the relics. And Trinity Baseball is the one that was supposed to be coming up pretty soon, like here in a few days. And it does have really nice relics. And they moved the date. They pushed it back. It's not coming out now until July. And come to find out, one of the interesting things about that release, they lost all of the autographs from Joey Bart. Yeah, you heard that right. <laughs> the whole package of autographs from Joey Bart, they said, were uh, lost by the shipping carrier. Didn't say who the shipping carrier was, but just said they lost them all. Can you imagine? I mean, is that not crazy? First of all, why are you just shipping them in a way that they aren't, you know, like if I were... <laughs> Expecting a bunch of player autographs from Joey Bart, I think I'd probably be sending them by like a really secure method. I don't think I would just kind of throw them in the mail and say, hey, maybe you'll get it. <laughs> Jordan Alvarez for the Astros. That's a 30th anniversary parallel. And we have ourselves a speckle for the Cardinals. The speckles are numbered to 299 and that's Cabrera again. Some nice Cabrera tonight for the Cardinals. So, uh, yeah. So they lost all the Joey Barts. So I, I don't know if that's the reason the date got moved back to July or if there's some other reason as well. I just know they pushed it back to July and announced the Joey Bart thing at about the same time. So go figure. The Washington Nationals, refractor to 499. Get a little ink here with Augustin. Telmito Augustin. And of all the ones to lose, too, you know? <laughs> Why you gotta lose Joey Bart? <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Oh, no, Paul thinks Joey Bart's mother is signing his autographs. <laughs> oh, no, are you are you part of the Luca conspiracy theory there? There's uh, a group of people that think that Luka Doncic doesn't sign his autographs, the rookie sensation in basketball. There's a, a subset of people who think his mother signs part of them and Luca signs part of them. Um, but the reality of it is, you know, there'd be a difference in the signature and the people who verify those and certify those would catch that. But, but anyway, um, yeah, this is number to 50. It is for the Braves, Colby Allard or Allard for, um, Atlanta. Nice. Another little handsome gold card there. I like pulling the gold. But interestingly enough, I do have a rep who said uh, that uh, they were, you know, witnessed him signing stuff at the rookie premiere event and that he signs it the way it looks on the card, the Lulu kind of way that it looks is the way that he signs it most of the time. And he said he sat there and watched the guy sign it and he's, you know, confident that that the autographs all belong to him, but there, there are a whole group of people who think Luca doesn't sign his own autographs. So, who knows? But I, hadn't, I certainly hadn't heard anything about Joey Bart, but, but at any rate, uh, 
it is a shame that those autographs got lost. I don't know if they'll get them replaced or not. I'm thinking maybe not. San Diego Padres to 499. That is paper and it is Logan Allen. Behind it, we have another Bowman Sterling continuity coming our way. Casey Mize, Detroit Tigers, last year's number one overall draft pick. Of course, this year we've got the catcher that went number one overall. Can't remember his last name. I know it, but I can't pull it out of my brain at the moment because I've got Joey Bart stuck in there. San Diego Padres with a little chrome top 100 there for the Rangers. Rookie of the Year favorite for the Braves. Cubbies. Bowman Sterling continuity. Chris Bryant. In a couple of months, we're going to see Bowman Sterling again. Has been retail for several years now, but coming back to hobby. Yay. If they don't move the date again, I think the most recent I saw, I think, was August, maybe? I don't know. They move those things around so often. But I think August was the last uh, group, or the last date I saw for the, the Bowman Sterling. I'm pretty excited about that, too. I like that product, so. Kind of jazzed about getting that back in hobby and out of retail. Yeah, Paul, exactly. I mean, most of those Luca autographs look like Lulu. I mean, I would say probably at least 75% of them look exactly like that. Then there's another 25 or 30% that looks slightly different where that it looks a little more closed on the end, closer to an A than the U. But truthfully, I think it's probably just some are signed faster, some are signed slower. That was a 30th anniversary uh, Casey Mize that went by a moment ago with the facsimile signature on it. But here's the thing. If they were done by two different people, Beckett and the people who authenticate, PSA, DNA, all those guys who look at those autographs, and believe you me, there's been a lot of Luca graded. It's, <laughs> it's not like those aren't being sent off to be graded. They're going to catch it. They're going to know. And they would say something about it. I mean, think about it. They called out the Dak Prescott autographs uh, that were done by the auto pen. I mean, Beckett caught that right away and publicized it. They didn't just take it to, Bene to Panini and, you know, quietly hush it up. I mean, they took it to Panini, but they also publicly announced it. Cardinals, you got another one coming your way. Andrew Kenzer, nice. Arizona's having a good break tonight. I mean, St. Louis, I've got football on my brain. Sorry, I was, <laughs> I've been listing, sorting football today, and I just, yeah, no, not, not Arizona, St. Louis. We, we are in baseball here. <laughs> yeah, Paul, uh, if you, you ought to sell that, Luca, man, if it's to 10 out of contenders, listen, you can get some bucks for that. You should probably think about listing that bad boy. Ruiz, 30th anniversary. Unless it's for your personal collection, I guess, which would be another matter. And how about the Raptors? What? I know. Really, they should have just won the series already because the one game that they did lose, frankly, they shouldn't have lost. They were ahead and they just blew it. But headed back to Toronto and only need one game to clinch the series. One game, Jose Altuve. So maybe the Warriors needed Kevin Durant more than we thought. Because it really, for a bit, didn't kind of look like they needed him that much. And of course they won a lot of championships without him anyway, or some without him. But long about now, it does look like they need him. Toronto's getting ready to send him home crying. 
course, never say never, right? Warriors, uh, Warriors could easily still come back and win, but Toronto has looked really good. The White Sox, Nick Madrigal, nice blue one to 150. You said yours was graded by Beckett, but they always give an autograph uh, a 10. <laughs> I've seen them give autographs lower than 10 before, but it has to be smeared or some other part of it that's, you know, not good. But for sure, if they thought that that really hadn't been signed by Luca they would have flagged it. That's the point. So I feel comfortable that the Luca conspiracy theories are probably not, not true. But it came back an, an overall card grade of nine. Listen, man, you can get some money for that along about now. I expect. Well, Martin, they have everybody back but Kevin Durant now. Uh, Kevon Lo uh, Kevin Looney came back, and Clay Thompson came back. Uh, DeMarcus Cousins is already back. They're only missing Kevin Durant at this point. They had everybody in last game where they, they uh, lost this most recent game. Everybody was there but Durant. Now, you know, I guess you can take it however you want, maybe... Maybe Clay's not 100%, but I kind of think he is because there were originally talks about having him play in game before last that he was kind of ready to go, and they decided, eh, maybe we'll be up here on the safe side and hold him out one more game. So, arguably, they are healthy except for Durant. To 150 for the Tigers, that is Christian Stewart. That is blue paper. And for the Tigers, we've had a lot of gold tonight. That's Cameron. And it is paper, also numbered 250. Buying that, we have another little treasure in here. A Bowman Sterling continuity for the Tampa Bay Rays with Wander Franco. Too bad that's not signed, right? That would have uh, been a nice little surprise if that had been signed. All right. Well, see, I don't, you know, I don't know. You you think Clay Thompson is still pretty knocked up? I don't really think he is. I mean, maybe a little, but but he doesn't seem like he's in very bad shape. I mean, if you watched any of the game, DeGrom, 30th anniversary, he kind of looks all right to me. So, I don't know. The Miami Marlins with Victor Mesa Jr. to 125. But I don't think Kevin Durant's long to stick around anyway. We'll, we'll see, I guess, how it shakes out. But everybody seems to think he's going to want to jump ship for maybe New York. Maybe go to the Knicks or something. Who knows? Probably end up in Los Angeles and just form some new super team. <laughs> That'd be about par for the course, wouldn't it? And then Kyrie, who's supposedly going to leave Boston. Wouldn't it be funny if he went back to LeBron after he like gave LeBron all that grief? Cedric Mullins, Baltimore Orioles. I don't know. A lot of double headers today in baseball. Now, see, I think that would be tiring. Like you were talking about how um, how tiring it must be, you know, for Clay Thompson and those guys, which I agree. Nick Madrigal, White Sox, Bowman, Sterling continuity. But I think just in general, being a baseball player and you've got to play a double header, especially if it's a really hot day. 
Today wasn't super hot most places, but some days they are. I think that would just be grueling, grinding kind of tired. Because they don't get many days off to begin with, and then you've got to play twice in one day. I don't know. I don't think I would like it if I were a baseball player. <laughs> Be like, no, I don't want to work the second one. Ha ha, there's my man, Joey Bart. Mm hmm. Speaking of, didn't have any trouble getting his autographs back to Bowman, now did we? Nice little hit there for the Giants. A first Bowman, Joey Bart. Headed your way. All right, here comes the last box. You know what that means. It is last box mojo time. Yeah, that's right. We're going to try to bring out the fire. Although that Joey Bart was pretty nice. Um, but we're going to try to we're going to try to hit something else in here that is amazing to close out our evening on this half case of Bowman. Paul, uh, you think Kevin Durant might go to the Clippers? I mean, maybe, but but I don't I don't know. I don't know. Check the DNA. <laughs> Make sure Joey's mama didn't sign it. <laughs> Listen, that doesn't I can tell you, that does not look like a woman signed it. Now does it? I mean, realistically, does it really? I don't think it does. <laughs> Although, I will admit, my signature is horrible. Mitch Keller and the Pirates. My signature is quite, quite illegible. Um, but, I bet if you looked at it, you would still probably look at it and be able to tell that a woman signed it. That's just my guess. Who knows? Although tops, don't they witness all their signatures? I think they do witness them all. For the Brewers, Corbin Burns to 250. That is purple and paper headed to the Brewers. And that's an anniversary Cubbies, Chris Bryant. Well, actually, um, Paul, I think that Kyrie has changed his mind a little bit in regard to LeBron. Um, you know, he called him and apologized to him after he had spent some time in Boston as uh, captain of the ship, for lack of a better way to phrase it. And I think he got a little taste of how hard it is. And he apparently did apologize to LeBron and mended fences and all that was Aaron Judge for the Yankees on uh, the anniversary. So if you were to put together the right package of guys, I could see Kyrie going to play with LeBron again just because he wants to chase another ring. Oh, you were kidding about Durant going to the Clippers. Okay. I was like, I wasn't really expecting Kevin Durant to go to the Clippers. But, hey, you never know. Somebody puts together the right package, throws out enough money. Uh, you never know. For the Phillies, that is Sanchez. Ciso Sanchez to four ninety nine in a little refractor for the Phillies. Oh, Durant might not play. With LeBron, you might be right about that. Yeah, he obviously has made some public comments about what he perceives it is like to play with LeBron James. So you might be right about that. He might not be open to it. Now that he has a ring, he might not be so intent on chasing the championship. As he was when he left the Thunder. Kirk, how are you doing, Kirk? You have Toronto in here tonight and you need baby Vlad. 
people of Vlad Guerrero Jr. All right, my friend, we'll see what we can hustle up for you. Cardinals, dag gone, man. Cardinals hit another Cabrera first Bowman. This is to 150. And Cardinals have really had a nice break, particularly here with Cabrera specifically. They've hit autograph twice. I think an insert or two of his maybe. They've uh, done quite well, the Cardinals have in this break. Uh, you got to have some nights like that, though. Pay, helps pay for the nights that aren't like that, right? <laughs> Nick Senzel for my Cincinnati Reds. New York Mets blue shimmer to 150. That is Andreas Jimenez again. A bunch of paper. And, ooh, I see something shiny. It's for the Mets. It's Ronnie Mauricio. And Ronnie is a speckle. First Bowman. Number two. 299. That's a nice hit for the Mets. Paul, you said there's not enough time to make yourself the man. <laughs> and it's hard. Yeah, and LeBron wants all the attention. Yeah, I mean, maybe part of it is he wants some of the attention. But the other part of it is probably he just thinks, hey, I'm the, the best one out here on the floor. And I should have the ball, and that's how it should be. And honestly, most of the time, he's probably right. <laughs> he probably is the best one on the floor most of the time. But he is getting a little older, so he's going to have to start compromising somewhere along the way in those regards. I think he's learning that with this last year with the Lakers. So the Indians have a hit, and it is a first Bowman for Aaron Savali. Or maybe that's not at all the way it's pronounced, but that's my story and I'm sticking to it. We definitely know it's the Indians, and that's really the important part. Talent pipeline. More paper, 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 paper. Lots of paper in this break. My Cincinnati Reds had a little Jonathan India, just a just a chrome parallel, but I don't know. It makes me happy to see the Reds hit something. That's my team that I have my rooting interest for, so I don't have them in the break, but I always call them my Cincinnati Reds because I like them. Shohei Otani with a Bowman Sterling continuity. And we are finding ourselves at the last pack of the last box of this half case break. So here's hoping that it makes us happy. Makes us smile, we hope. So the Braves. Joey Wentz to 499. That is paper. Bowman Sterling continuity for my Cincinnati Reds. Jonathan India. Jonathan was arguing with me, not wanting to go in the sleeve there. All right, so we're going to recap now that we have finished that. Um, we'll recap, of course, all of our autographed things and our little stack here of numbered things that don't have an autograph and our Bowman Sterling continuity as well. Although, let me sort our Bowman Sterlings out separately. I should have done that as I went along, but I don't know. Somehow I didn't, so so now I did. Huh, there you go. Now it's done. This one is numbered. That makes me very happy because they're not numbered very often. 
it is to five greater all for the twins and the rest of our Bowman Sterling continuities these are not numbered uh, but since they don't come out super often uh, I do usually recap them so that's greater all again for the twins Adaman for the cubbies that is in the wrong stack. Um, Chris Bryant for the Cubbies. Casey Mize for the Tigers. The Tampa Bay Rays with Wander Franco. Madrigal for the White Sox. Otani for the Angels. And Jonathan India for the Reds. Now our numbered cards. To $4.99, Collins for the White Sox. To $4.99, Wentz for the Braves. This is Blue Shimmer to 150 for the Mets with Jimenez. The Phillies to 499, a refractor for Sanchez. Corbin Burns to 250, Brewers to 125, Victor Mesa Jr. for the Marlins. To 50, Cameron for the Tigers. Stewart for the Tigers to 150. To 150 for the White Sox with Madrigal. 499, Logan Allen and the Padres. This handsome fellow is to $2.99. Nice little handsome speckle card right there for Cabrera and the Cardinals. Jared Kalinick to $4.99 for the Mariners. And there's a handsome gold shimmer. Logan Allen to $50 for the Padres. To $4.99 Garcia and the Cardinals. The Phillies to $125 with Medina. And the Mets with Jimenez to $4.99. Our autograph recap. The Indians with Savali. This, I love this. The 299 First Bowman Speckle Mauricio for the Mets. Cabrera for the Cardinals. First Bowman Blue to 150. A nice first Bowman Joey Bart for the Giants. Baltimore Orioles Cedric Mullins to 499. Kenzer Cardinals. Allard to 50 for the Braves. Augustine to 499 for the Nationals. Bannon, Orioles. The Mariners have an atomic refractor autograph to 100 for Julio Rodriguez. Another Cabrera for the Cardinals. That one is to 50. And we started things off with the Yankees. Dom Thompson Williams. All right, that's the break for tonight. That is the recap. I will put up spreadsheet information here one final time for anybody that might have missed it earlier. We're going to take a little quick peek here at when you can expect your things to ship. <coughs> Excuse me. As well as what we're breaking in the days ahead. Oh, yeah, and let me show you this again, too, because um, that's where uh, we've got to add in there for Paul that he picked up the Boston Red Sox. That previously just said unpaid. So that's our updated... Uh, spreadsheet there reflecting that change expecting this to be on the way to you approximately wednesday as always if i can get something out to you faster than the date that you see listed there i will gladly do so um, i do ship from ebay so when the labels print you should see the tracking uh, show up on there one final reminder that paper base had its own bidding category in this break it does not ship to the teams What's coming up in the days ahead? Tomorrow, uh, basically all week except for Tuesday, we're going to start early at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific. Tomorrow night, it is flash football and leather and lumber baseball, that high-end panini product that came out a week or so ago. It'll be our second break of that. On Monday night, Luminance football, and we're going to get back into Finest Baseball. Finest came out Wednesday, and I kind of forgot to list it for a couple days. That's my fault. We had so much going on. I don't know. I messed it up. Tuesday, Flash Football and Finest Baseball. Wednesday, that's a new release day, of course. We've got Noir Basketball, super high-end basketball product from Panini. If you've never seen that product, Check out some of the pictures of it. It is a really cool release. Uh, I particularly like it. But anyway, that's just me. Top Series 2 Jumbo also comes out Wednesday. We're going to break it by the full case. It will have silver packs with it. And the base does not ship to the teams. Base will have its separate bidding category with Series 2. On Thursday, we're going to be super busy on Thursday. Noir Basketball, Luminance Football, and Finest Baseball. That break will probably be two to two and a half hours. So, yeah, bring a snack on Thursday night, right?
Me too, maybe, right? I might need a I might need an intermission. <laughs> no, not really. We'll power through. So that's got me covered for tonight. Thank you everyone for being here. I appreciate you very much. I hope I will see you again tomorrow night, or if not, then sometime soon. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and we'll see you the next time. Bye now.